the French defensive line, fortifications of Vauban. This is the Gironde River in southwestern France. A uniquely shaped building stands near the estuary of the river. It is the citadel of Blay, built by Sébastien Le Prayre, Seigneur de Vauban, during the 17th century. The entire complex has an area of 33 hectares, large enough to fit 40 football grounds inside. The fortress wall is 40 meters high. The fortress is surrounded by thick stone walls and once had cannons on its battlements. Barracks, a hospital and even a chapel were built inside. In order to enter the fortress, one must walk over a very long and narrow bridge to the gate. Vauban was a soldier serving King Louis XIV of France. With the growth of French power, there was an urgent need to build fortresses to protect this expanding nation. The most notable characteristic of Vauban fortresses is a projected triangular shaped layout. This gun covers this area and this one covers here. It is called a crossfire scheme. There are no blind spots around this fortress. Enemies were fired at from every vantage point. Vauban built 160 fortresses and 12 of them are inscribed as World Heritage today. Using natural landforms, these fortresses were built along the French border. There are also some additional defences. At the entrance, there is a heavy sliding wall that can be dropped from above to block enemies. This hole was used to attack the intruders from above. However, one fortress was not strong enough to completely stop an attack as ships could sail out of firing range. Other fortresses were built on the opposite shore. This way, enemies could be attacked from both sides. However, the other side of the river had soft ground and was not suitable for a fortress. Vauban instead built a moat to provide protection. These fortresses were originally built for military purposes but I love today as invaluable historical monuments. <laughs>